Day 20, Desperation and Redemption, Tamer. The scripture is Genesis 38, 8-26, and Romans 2, 1-4. Why is it so easy to see the flaws in other people, but it's difficult to see those same flaws in ourselves? If we're being truthful, we'd recognize that we all struggle with hypocrisy. We fail to consistently follow the principles we claim to rely on and the life we really lead. Tamar had been married to two of Judah's sons, both of whom died. It was Judah's duty to care for the young widow's needs. He agreed to this when he welcomed Tamar into the family. But after his son's deaths, Judah tried to get out of his obligation, quietly abandoning his responsibility to provide for the girl's needs. Over time and through many circumstances, Judah had to admit to being a hypocrite. He then accepted his responsibility to care for her. He even suggested that Tamar had taken the more righteous path, given the circumstances that he'd put her in. As we have read about the cast of characters in Jesus' lineage, we may be surprised that God would include such a dark tale in his story of our redemption. But God didn't shy away from making Tamar's children Jesus' ancestors. Hypocrisy is in the heart of every human, but it doesn't disqualify anyone from God's grace and mercy. And Jesus came into the world to redeem all of our dark stories, Judah's and Tamar's and yours. Reflect, how do you react when someone points to your hypocrisy? How can you better align your actions with your beliefs? Pray, ask God to nudge your heart towards choosing wisely in the moments when your behavior is in danger of contradicting the principles of your faith.